So this is, again, not a really busy week for me. So layering the washi and the stickers just feels right. Just feels right. So let's go ahead and pop her down. I did fussy cut these this morning in preparation for this plan with me. Whoops, grab the top of her head. Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back if this is not your first time here. Oh, my chair keeps rolling away from my desk. Oh, let's see if we can get it situated. There we go. Today I am planning in my Hobonichi cousin, Techo. I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna do this washi tape. I really like that color. I almost need like a softer green, but I don't, maybe this one. Maybe this one. How have you been? It has been a while since I have been back in the office filming. Our internet cable that goes from the house to our satellite went out. Like it just stopped working. So we uh, had to get a hold of Starlink. And because we don't have cell service at our house, I had to hike up a little bit on the hill in order to get service. So that was interesting. Interesting to say the least. I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to put this washi tape down here. So yeah, I have been not filming, which it kind of was good timing if you could call it that because Wes got our garden tilled up. So we actually have been spending quite a few evenings out there getting things ready to be planted. Usually in our area, it's advised to wait until Mother's Day weekend to plant. So we were able to get a few things in the ground. I've got a lot more that I want to go into it. The garden is about 40 feet by 45 feet. So 40 by 40. It's roughly... 1600 square feet which sounds like a really big garden it is i'm not going to try to sell it short it is a really big space but the way that we're doing it is we're sectioning it off so there's walkways instead of rows in between each type of plant and i'm doing companion planting so it's a little different than anything i've ever seen or anything i've ever done I'm excited about it for sure. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I pulled some of these from my haul that I did a couple weeks ago. Some of these stickers. I really, really liked them. Wes just left. They're headed over to a uh, neighboring town. Did I want those here? I think so. Over to a neighboring town. So he'll be back in a little bit to edit all this and do his magic on it. I need to cut this off. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay it down this way. Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna do it that way. I was really debating. I don't think, because I'm going to be, well, now that I think about it, let me separate this off. Let me see. Let, let me see. Let's turn this around. Because I do think. Yeah, let's go this way. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I do want it to go that way. And then what I will do is just cut this part off. Not cut too much of the page, but just a tiny bit of it so that I don't have any residue left from the sticker on the page. It's a little crooked, but I think it's totally fine. Ooh, that is really sticky washi tape. I think it's totally fine. Okay, so we've got that down. And then I had, I think I wanted this one. Do I want it here? I don't know. I do know I've got the girls though, so I want to put, I want to be able to put the girls down. 
think I wanted her. Oh, just dropped her. Hold on. I got her. So I think behind her, though, I do want a little bit of washi tape. So this is, again, not a really busy week for me. So layering the washi and the stickers just feels right. Just feels right. So let's go ahead and pop her down. I did fussy cut these this morning in preparation for this plan with me. Whoops, grab the top of her head. Want her there. Perfect. Okay. And then this one, I know I want down here in this corner. Kind of like last week, I'm just doing a lot of layering and I really like I really like how liked how the layering worked last week and because it wasn't a very busy week and I didn't have a whole lot to put in there. It just worked really, really well to have kind of this space taken up by the stickers. So I think I had planned on putting this here, but I, I really want to do it here just to add, add a little bit up in this area. And I think what I might even do Put it up in here. Yes. Make sure I didn't get any wrinkles. Perfect. Okay. So that that kind of takes care of like the decorative part of it, kind of. I do want to add maybe maybe I'll go in here with the Tombow 947 and I don't want to do a really dark line though as I'm looking at this I don't want it to be like overbearing so I'm just going to pop in here and I'm going to go from 8 30 to 4 30 and I'm going to draw this in the best I can keep it as straight as I can and just put in Actually, I don't know if that will. We'll see if that'll work. And that will be that'll be the work hours right there. I like how that looks. It's really clean and simple. There's not a lot to it. Now I'm gonna grab my dots because I'm thinking I can do the green. the red actually why don't I just take this whole swatch that whole piece there throw that back over there perfect and then I don't want every day to be the exact same in fact now that I say that let me throw this back down here I want to add some washi tape over here I feel like it's just missing something over in this area I'm going to go all the way over with that and then with this one I'm going to go there with a simple layer. Where'd it go? Perfect. Perfect. I do like that. And then with these dots I'm just going to put a couple in a little bit sporadically. I don't like that there. Let's go there and there. And then let's pop up here. Terrific. Loving this so far. Got my two there, two there. Let's put a couple down on Friday. Do the darker ones. Awesome. 
And then Saturday and Sunday, hmm, I could put in, let's do, let's do a film and let's do meal plan. Meal plan. Okay. So that takes care of that. Let me clean up this little mess here. Put this back in here, throw this back in here, just to give myself a little bit more room to write. So let's go in here. I wanna put in Definitely want to journal. Am I going to do it at this specific prep time? Probably not, but I do want to make sure that it is on each day. That way I do remember to do it. I really like this. Let me know down in the comments what you think. This is very decorative and I'm really, really, really liking it. More decorative than I usually do. And if it was going to be a really busy week, I probably wouldn't do this much. But because it's a very not busy week, I don't know how else to say that. It's a very, I don't want to say it's slow. I just don't have a whole lot going on. So up here, I need to mark the days that I'm going to be watering the garden. So I want to do Monday, I want to do Wednesday, and then I'm going to do Saturday. And we'll kind of play it by ear. I don't want to wa water it too often. We've got pretty clay soil, so I know it's going to hold on to the water. But in the beginning, I want to make sure that everything comes up like it should. On Friday, I know I need to stop and get fuel. Thursday is my market pickup. And then Tuesday, stop at the P.O. box. And that leaves a couple couple of things open on Monday and Wednesday if I need to pop anything in there for those days. So yeah, quick plan with me. We threw this together in no time at all. Let me know down below what you think and if you're going to try this layout. Tell me what you like aesthetically about it. How do you feel about having the girls in the planner? Like I really... I really like how last week turned out. I really liked that it looked busy, even though there was very minimal things in there that were actually tasks or things that made me busy. So I do, I do like it a lot. I'm really, really happy with it. So let me know down below. I will meet you in the chat and I'm so glad to be back. I'm glad we've got internet again. I love you. <laughs> Bye.